Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Lonsdale Public Library's Book Chats. I'm Penny, and I'm here to say, you know what? It's okay if you don't feel like diving into a nice, meaty novel all the time. It's okay if it's not something that's educational. It's okay if sometimes you just want to pick up a picture book and read it. Because let me tell you, there are some great picture books out there. I personally like the ones that give me a little bit of a giggle. Sometimes it's a belly laugh. Whatever it is, I like the humorous ones. And boy, do we have a great selection here of humorous picture books. I pulled a few of my favorites just to share with you. So the first one I like, Almost Everybody Farts by Marty Kelly. Farts, whether you're two or 102, farts are funny. Most of us women roll our eyes, but inside we might be chuckling a little bit because as I said, farts are funny. And as this book says, almost everybody farts. I mean, we have farts like fire, farts like horns, rainbow farts from unicorns. Now notice on the front, it says almost everybody farts. That's because the recurring theme throughout is that moms don't fart. Now I'm gonna leave that up to you on whether moms fart or not. But I do have to say that it's a great book to read and it gives me the giggles every time. My second recommendation is by an author that many people know as the author of the Pigeon books. His name is Mo Willems. He's written the whole series, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late, The Pigeon Wants a Cookie. Uh, he also writes Elephant and Piggy books, which are for our easy readers. And they're really cute and funny. My favorite of his though is a little bit lesser known. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. And I can sum it up for you with the first lines in the book. It says, there is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only know, need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. And number three, they are all naked. Well, they were, except for one exception, Wilbur. Poor Wilbur, he's the naked mole rat that likes to wear clothes. The rest of the mole rats shun him. They even go to their supreme leader, the Grand Pa, and talk to him about Wilbur and his, his clothing. How shameful. It's a great book to giggle at, and it reminds you that everybody has different tastes. But again, there's something about naked mole rats. While I've seen them in person, they're not as cute in person as Wilbur is in the book, let me tell ya. But it's still a very cute book. My third book, I think it gives me the giggles because I kind of identify with it just a bit, is Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt. I say I identify with it a little bit because I don't always like change or the unknown. I like to stick with what I know. And Scaredy Squirrel sticks with what he knows. And he's scared of a lot of things. He's scared of things like green Martians, sharks, germs, killer bees. I'm kind of scared of some of those things too. And so Scaredy Squirrel stays in his tree all day long with a very strict routine because it's what he knows. So he feels safe. He even has an emergency kit in case he encounters something like a can of sardines in case he encounters the shark in his tree. Or he has a hard hat, um, maybe to keep away the killer bees. But one day, his meticulously kept schedule gets thrown all out of whack. And poor Scaredy has to navigate that. And it gives a chuckle, as I said, because some of it's a little extreme, but I also do have a soft spot for him. Because when I get thrown off my schedule, it's a little tough for me too, but Scaredy and I, we tough it out together. My next book, Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, and it's illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. Seriously, I love tacos just as much as the next person, but now I know why I should be especially careful if I am going to feed dragons tacos especially if I have a party, which dragons love, not as much as tacos, but dragons love parties. And this book says, if you have a taco party, all the dragons are there. 
You just have to be careful what kind of salsa you feed them or it could turn into a disaster quickly. I enjoy this one because as I said, I enjoy my tacos too. And the dragons are pretty silly. The illustrations are fantastic. Uh, it's a great book. My next two are best when read aloud. That doesn't mean you have to read to somebody. If you can, great. But if you can't, they're still made to read aloud. Now, I Say Ooh, You Say Ah by John Kane really does need another person. And that is because the reader encourages the listeners to interact with the book. So for example, I would read this page when I say ooh, you say ah. And the donkey in the book is named ooh, ah. And there are others in there such as when you see an ant, you say underpants, which is almost as funny as farts. Underpants are funny. And so when the uh, donkey, ooh, is missing something, the reader will say, what do you think ooh is missing? And you turn the page and there's a picture of an ant. And so your listeners have to yell, underpants. And then I read, no, donkeys don't wear underpants. It's hilarious. It's great to interact with the reader and the listener. And the colors are bright. The illustrations are very simple and yet engaging. So see, you'd have to yell underpants because there's your aunt. So that is a fun one. Now, the next one is fun to read aloud, not because of the listeners as much as because of the reader. This book is called The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. And in this book, it does have no pictures. That is true, which starts out saying maybe it'll be boring or silly. But instead, the author points out that the person reading the book has to say whatever the author has written in here. So, for example, when the author writes, my head is made of blueberry pizza, that's what the reader has to read aloud. And it's got weird sound effects and it's, it's a very silly book. Um, it's fun to read aloud, as I said, the listeners will be rolling on the floor laughing at all the things you have to say. So I highly recommend, if there aren't any listeners, you still have to read it out loud, it still will make you laugh. So I hope that some of these picture books have brightened up your days and I look forward to seeing you again next week.